Chef Lalonde, owner of the Canteen Bar and Grill in North Platte. Join us now for fabulous, unique, original recipes created by the chef. Hi, and welcome to Cooking with Chef Lalonde. Today, like last week, we did a baked ziti dish. Today, we're going to do a ziti pasta dish. So I want to use up some zucchini, and this is zucchini from my garden. And what I've done is I've taken the zucchini and just run it right through a shredder, like a box shredder, just by hand. Then I've taken some, a couple of Italian sausages right out of the casing. And we're going to crumble that up. That's actually going to be the garnish on the top. We've got our cooked ziti, and we've got some of our pre-made Alfredo. And it's really just uh, a little bit of garlic sauteed in some butter, and then we reduce cream, and we add some egg yolks to it, so it's just a little thick. And it's just a base we use for making our real Alfredo. We've got some Parmesan cheese, a little olive oil. I'll show you how to put this together. Real simple dish. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to start off, we're going to brown this sausage up, and we're gonna, then we're going to drain this, and then we'll, we'll put some of this other ingredients together for you here. All right, our sausage is nice and browned up. And what we're going to do is just reserve this and drain off all the excess oil. We're going to go ahead and use the same pan because we want all these flavors in there. And we're going to start right again. All right, we've, we've just drained that pan. We've added a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. Now we're going to add our shredded zucchini and just kind of really quick toss this up. This doesn't need to go very, very long at all. We're basically just going to kind of heat this through. But we want all those flavor from the bottom of this pan to give us all that nice, wonderful uh, sausage flavor. Now we're going to go ahead and add our Alfredo base. You see it going right in there. I'm going to do a quick stir. I want lots of zucchini in this. You can see it coming together. Now we want to season this lightly with a little bit of salt and pepper. We're going to add a little bit of fresh parsley right to this. And then our pasta goes right into this. And we're just going to heat our pasta up. And once this heats up, we're ready to dish this baby up. All right, and we're going to add just a little bit of cheese to this. And we're going to take this off the heat and just kind of stir that cheese in. You can see how nice and creamy and beautiful that is. Lots of zucchini in there. In fact, I probably could have even used another zucchini. I think it would have been really, really good. And then we're ready to plate up. All right, now we've got a beautiful dish. You want to make sure you get plenty of that zucchini in there. This is pretty rich, so we're not going to dish a whole lot of this. Just like about so. Then we're going to wipe this down. Want a little bit of cheese. And then we're going to go ahead and garnish this with some of our cooked sausage right on the top. Just to give it a little bit of protein and just a fun little kind of look. Maybe a little chopped parsley. And there you go. Ziti with fresh zucchini and Italian sausage. Hey, thanks for joining us. We're going to pair this with a Barbera. It's a lighter kind of really nice red wine. And I uh, hope you enjoy this. Like I said, if you have zucchini, I think you could even double the amount of zucchini that I added to this, and I think it'd be even better. Uh, you know, try it with different sausage. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next week. Bon appetit. For Chef Lalonde recipes, go to knopnews2.com or send a self-addressed stamped envelope. Please join us again next Wednesday.